What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I couldn't find any in Kavok, so I special ordered one. Just go pick it up. No problem. We'll be right back. Cool. Let's head over to the magic shop. If I can remember how the hell to fucking get there. Have you heard of the flawless marvel? The what? I'm Rurona. I travel around the world studying ancient ruins. Oh, you're an adventurer? No, an alchemist. Huh, interesting. Really? Then why are you... It's a long story. Anyway, do you know about the Flawless Marble? It's a legendary ruin made entirely of sculpted marble. Huh, it's interesting. I always thought that was just a rumor. I don't think anyone around here actually believes it's real. Hmm. Guess I'm on my own then. Huh? Well, thanks anyway. Can I help you? Huh? Oh, I was just wondering what you sell here. Oh, a customer. Let me know if you need any assistance. Uh, okay. Mr. Norman wants a tingleberry. You have them here, right? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. God damn it. I mean, yeah, she, she's kind of weird. Definitely one of the weirdest characters I've met in this game so far. Uh, Lita? If you're done shopping, you can leave at any time. <laughs> we were just leaving. Oh, I can tell this is going to be fun. Why did you have to make a scene? Oh, like I was out of line. She pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go. Norman's waiting for us. She pisses me off. <laughs> nice. That being said, I'm usually pretty tolerant of people like that. I've had years of experience with, you know, being a host at a restaurant. I've dealt with my fair share of rude and asshole-ish people. So I I've become very patient over the years. Although I feel like actually the last couple of years I've gotten a lot more or less patient. Maybe it's because I'm getting, you know, older, I'm getting more grumpy, I don't know. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your help. Well, you're welcome, Mr. Norman. Well, let's try this out. A carrot or a spoiled carrot? Just straight up, just a nasty carrot? 
hard a carrot, but that's sold out. I'm sorry, there's like at least ten different dick jokes I could make about the fact that there's a hard carrot. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Brown sugar. Honey and uh, whatever the fuck that is. Potato. This looks pretty good. I think I'll put it on the menu. If you want to cook, just bring me the ingredients. All right. No, nah, I think I actually get this one all right. It's one I don't think I need to watch the tutorial on. Rock sugar, interesting. Oh, I'm getting a whole lot of stuff. Got some goat milk, alright. Canola oil. Nice. Well, it's your room now. Enjoy yourself. I will try. All right, kick ass. Okay, makes sense. So you can synthesize on the fly, but you can also synthesize with a cauldron, like in some of the newer Atelier games. So I know in Atelier Aisha you couldn't synthesize while you're out in the field. You had to have a cauldron. But in this game, it seems like you can do it either way. When you're out in in the field, you can synthesize, or you can use a cauldron. Okay, interesting. It's getting late. Let's call it a night. Yeah, agreed. Thank you. You're dismissed. The gate's secret was discovered. Now they can reach Avonbury. Perhaps I should have a word with them. Mmm, boy. Trouble's brewing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sir Beggar, is everything all right, sir? <clears throat> uh, I'm fine. Just got a little excited. Bring the boy here, alive. As opposed to dead? I mean, this does not sound like a very good guy. I may have to uh, kick his bitch ass at some point. Alright. Well, either way, guys, I feel like I got a good start on this game today. I gotta say, definitely enjoying it so far, so I'm definitely looking forward to... Uh, playing some more of this game at some point in the future. Uh, but yeah, I've had a lot of fun today playing this for you guys, so... Yeah, it's been cool. Alright, well either way guys, that is going to be it for this for today. So, until next time guys, peace out.